It's week five on ESPN. The Raiders come into today's matchup with one of the better ground games. Their running game is ranked at number 10 in the NFL. They should easily have their way versus the Bills, who come in with a porous run defense. If they don't control the line of scrimmage from the first snap, they could be in serious trouble. We'll see what happens along with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe, who are on location in Buffalo. Welcome, and grab your umbrella because it's pouring rain here at Ralph Wilson Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens with Peter O'Keefe. Peter, how about giving us the lowdown? Dan, we should see one heck of a battle down there on the field. And just look at these guys. Bryce Fisher comes in with a knack for getting after the quarterback. If you give him even a tiny opening, you better get to a phone and dial 911. And warming up over here is someone who is just as capable of putting on a clinic. Lincoln Kennedy comes in as one of the dominant offensive linemen in the league. He brings the hammer down on his man, and his teammates respect that. Peter, thanks. It's time now for the coin toss. Hey. They call hey. hands. It is Bill. The Bills elect to receive the kickoff. Janikowski signals, and we're about to get underway. It's away. 31 catches it in the end zone. Play. First down, Time for the offense to do their job. Let's check it out. First and ten. Let's go, guys. Get the fans on the cue for they have their tight end to the left. Bledsoe fades back. Barely gets it off. Nice throw by the 10 year man out of Washington State. He sends a telegram to his man for the completion. Take a look. There's the throw right to him. This passing offense spends so much time in practice running plays and patterns that it's, it's almost instinctive at this point. Ball on the 34. Yeah. Go, come back, come back. Yeah. Yeah. Bledsoe comes back. It's oh. it's intercepted. Runs out at the 27-yard oh. line. First down, Raiders. But blame it on the rain, baby. Check out this replay and you'll see what I mean. Oh, right into the D's hand. Oh, boy, Peter, it is so tough to throw in these conditions. The weather is definitely the 12th man on the field for the defense. Yeah, you have to adjust your game plan in these conditions, and they didn't do that on this play. Well, their offense takes the field after that great interception. Let's see if they can capitalize. Ball at the 27-yard line. They're going with their tight end right. It's fine. Barely gets it off. Oh, they got him down immediately, but he will have the first down. Rich Gannon throws a homing missile on this play. Check this out. Totally threads the needle. There are two defenders there, Peter, and there was definitely not a lot of room for error. Oh, absolutely. There was not a lot of room for, for anything. Ball on the 14. Cannon comes back. The pass is no good, incomplete. Peter, let's run down the Raiders' offense. First up, the offensive line. Lincoln Kennedy brings size and power to this line, and they are ready for battle. Next up are the receivers. Jim Brown generates a lot of excitement with his aerial theatrics. So far this season, he's averaged 51 yards on three catches a game. 
And lastly, the man who calls the plays and the guys who back him up. Rich Gannon sets the tempo in this group. Through the air this season, he's averaged 178 yards and over a touchdown a game. Okay, back to the action. Second and ten. London Fletcher delivers a key stop behind the line of scrimmage. It stops the play cold. Let's go. Right there, a key stop. He's really dangerous out there. I gotta tell you, quick enough to get uh, past the line and then tough enough to bring down his man. Third and 14. Two tight ends in. And he fades back. Throws. And it will be fourth and long. Peter, let's look at the Bills starting defense. First up, the defensive line. Pat Williams deserves our full attention, Dan. He and his squad need to put a lot of pressure on the quarterback today. Up now are the linebackers. London Fletcher takes excellent angles to the ball out there. And lastly, the secondary. Antoine Winfield stays neck and neck with his man, neutralizing him. Now, back to the game. Janikowski lines up for the first quarter lead. Sebastian Janikowski really does a nice job here compensating for the weather. Watch this. Right through the upright. Boy, you could hardly tell that he did that in the middle of a rainstorm. The Raiders try first in the game, 3-0. And we're ready for the kickoff. Nice kickoff. Morris fields it deep. The last time they had it, they turned it over on the interception. Let's see if they worked out the kinks here. It's first and ten. Everybody's looking. It's time. He's down. Yeah. Right, right, left. Price goes in motion. Yeah. Ledsoe drops back. Nearly gets it off. It's caught on the knee. Stiff arms. at the 33-yard line. Watch for the run! Watch for the run! All run! All run! Henry, with the ball, has a seam. The 45. Travis Henry was on fire on that run. Talk about keeping it floored, Dan. A little muscle car running, that's for <laughs> sure, Peter. Very impressive acceleration. Oh, yeah, forget about the 40-yard dash time. I want to see his quarter-mile time. All on the 49. Bold in motion. Henry will forces through. Second down. Nine yards to go. Yeah. 
It's second and nine. Let's not give me anything. Nothing, Clayton. Come on, come on. Bledsoe is back, throws. The pass falls incomplete. You know, the passing game is so tough in wet weather. It's hard to get a lot of air under the ball, and he ended up under throwing. It's third and nine. Eyes open, eyes open. Price goes in motion. Bledsoe from shotgun. Throws. He bled so through a nice one this time. Watch this. Right by the defender. Very good cover. Let me ask you, how hard is it to defend against a pass like that? Oh, it's really hard. He played it right away. It's too good of a throw. It's first and ten. Ball at the 26 yard line. Keep an eye on the backfield. Watch for a run. High formation. Henry with the carry. Right in. Beautiful run by the second year man out of Tennessee. It's the end of the first quarter. The Raiders currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game. Three to zero. on the 18. Kill for one, we can kill for three more. Go, go, go. Tight left. Price in motion. Good. Henry. Loss of one. Well, nice job one, closing one, the one, middle one, down one, by the D. Not a lot of room to run there. 11 yards to go. It's second and eleven. I smell a repeat performance. Just one man in the backfield. Henry gets the ball again. Romanowski gets penetration and makes a nice tackle behind the line. So the defense has hit him hard twice now, and I, I bet they're ready for a third trip back to the buffet table. Third and about 13. They're going with Dion. Bledsoe, they back, throws. Nice catch! And somehow finds the seam and all that and picks up some extra yards. First down. Nice completion here. Take a look. There's the throw right in between the numbers. He had them lined up just right, and they connected for a decent game. The Bills have a first down. It's their fourth of this drive, and they keep pounding away. with the stop his third this afternoon. The defense sends that one back to the factory with a devastating stop in the backfield. A big loss there. Second and goal. Price goes in motion.
Bledsoe drops back. Man, I like that call. Really close the gap to the first down. Let's see what they do coming up. Third and goal. trenches and hunkered down. Just a great job repelling the assault on third down. Yeah. Hollis lines up for the field goal. the goods under tough conditions. Look at this. Splits the upright. With all this rain, that ball could have very easily slipped and gone any which way. Yeah, but he maintained focus and control and compensated perfectly. You, you really can't coach that. The Bills knotted up after that scoring yeah. drive. Hollis will kick this one away. It's all. Knight fields this one. Close game so far, and even though there's plenty of time left, they'd love to score on this drive. First and ten. Once again, why you get the football to him. Take a look. A nice catch, but he's not the kind of player who settles for nice catches. No question, Peter. He fights for every yard of turf like he owns, well, like he owns the deed on it. <laughs> Ball at the 44-yard line. They have two receivers in. And they barely gets it off. Nice pass by the 16-year man out of college. Got some nice yards there off the first down play, and that really opens things up a bit for this next one. Second and inches. Nice job on that second down play, plugging up the middle. Lost yardage on that one. It's third and about three. Brown in motion. It's caught sideline. Oh, the receiver in making the most of that play. Great entry yardage. First down. Rowan Williams really uses his head here and makes a great play. There, he's got the ball, but the best part is how he gets the first. That is so crucial on third down to have a receiver who fights to get across that line. You can't coach desire like that. 47 seconds to go. Fades back. Barely gets it off. Incomplete. Gary Porter seemed to be in the right spot, but the pass was just a little to the left. Ball on the 39. Second 
First down. The Raiders first down. take their first time out. He connects with his receiver with ease there. He sees his man and then airs it out for the completion. Yeah, they are in sync there, able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. But they actually look like Backstreet Boys to me. I, I don't follow that. First and ten. They're going with three wideouts. Newman makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. The Raiders will take a timeout. That's their second. Really nice to see the D step up on first down and make the nice stop to the outside. Real quick reflexes. It's second and 11. on second down. They need that if they want a chance at converting this third down coming. Third and about a foot. He swings outside for about four. He'll pick up the first. The Raiders moving the ball well. First down. Two tight ends on the field. Weekly with the carry. First and goal. Janikowski can put his team on top with this kick here in the second quarter. First half comes to a close and we're all knotted up. Time to go to the ESPN Halftime Update with Clark Nishman. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. It's time for a quick review of the numbers from the first half of play. The Bills come into halftime having held their own in this game. And it's due in no small part to an effective run-stopping front line. The numbers tell the story here. Nate Clements has done well so far and currently has a total of two tackles. A clear choice for our ESPN Hot at the Half player. That's our halftime report. I'm Clark Dishman with a reminder to tune in to the ESPN postgame show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send it back to Dan and Peter. <laughs> Ready with a second half kickoff. Strong kick. Kirby gets it deep. Right down at the 24 yard line. First down, Raiders. Well, this game could go either way, Dan, and that's what makes this drive critical. They'd love to put some points on the board right here. Ball at the 24 yard line. Drops back. Throws. Nice grab by the 18-year man out of Mississippi Valley. Got some nice yards there off the first down play, and that really opens things up a bit for this next one. Second and less than a yard. With the ball right the middle. The ball is the game is 15 on the play. First down. Tyrone Wheatley executes a major run. He puts the pedal to the metal from the word go and doesn't let up until they finally snag him. But it's just a run. He is the man of the hour in my book, Peter. Ball on the 48. Cannon fades back. Barely gets it off. Game of 13. Rich Cannon with the completion. 
Rich Gannon finds his man for the completion despite triple coverage. Oh, we got to see that again. Bam! Puts the football where it needs to be for the catch. Those three would-be defenders remind me of those three monkeys. Yeah, see no pass, hear no pass, block no pass. It's first and ten. They line up in the eye. Second and eight. Cannon drops back. Throws. Larson makes the stop. Nice pass. It'll make this third down a whole lot easier coming up. Third and it should. They go with one man back. Garner will run it. Up the middle for about two. First down. Carried this one off his left guard. And there was not much there once through the line, but he does get the first. Ball at the 27-yard line. They go with the I formation. Cannon, they close. Out on the wing. The 15. Rich Rowan Williams really executed well on that play. Let's take a look. Here's the catch, and it's a good one, but there's no time to celebrate. No, nope, because he's already thinking about how much farther he can go, and he goes a long way, Peter. The Raiders are putting a good drive together, first down. With the kill, Human doesn't let that get far at all and makes the tackle just past the line. Carried this one way right, but he's barely past the line of scrimmage before he stops. Ball on the 11. They line up with a split back here. With the ball, moon to the right. He's in for the touchdown. Alan Wheaton got out the good stuff on that monster of a touchdown run. Look at all these yards, and then oh, touchdown, baby. Oh, yeah. I don't think anybody, uh, anybody was expecting a run like that. Fantastic play. Absolutely. Janikowski will line up for the point after. away the extra point is good the Raiders are now out on top to the tune of 10 to 3 Janikowski lines up for the kickoff there's the kick Morris will field it. First down, they came away with three last time, and I'm, I'm kind of curious to see if they can punch this drive into the end zone. It's first and ten. Let's get the fans to show. Put the points on the board. They line up with their tight end right. Price goes in motion. Yeah. 
Bledsoe drops back, throws, holds, was the intended receiver incomplete. Torrey James was the only guy in that zone, and he got the job done. Second and ten. Price in motion. Bledsoe fades back. Throws. Spins. Nice catch by the seven-year man out of Mississippi State. Drew Bledsoe had no trouble zinging that one past the defender, Dan. Perfect throw. He couldn't help but catch it. The ball was sent there. Special delivery. And the receiver didn't even have to sign for it. Ball at the 45-yard line. Bledsoe drops back. Barely gets it. He's put down, but not before he records his fourth catch of the game. It's the end of the third quarter. The Raiders currently enjoying a small advantage. 10 to 3. Second and about a foot. It's the fourth quarter now, baby. We take over this game. They're running. Watch the run. Henry will run it inside the right tackle. Quick move through the middle. He on seven yards and the first down. Damn, this line has really done a nice job punching through and getting those holes. They should keep going up the middle like that. Ball on the 38. Price goes in motion. Henry with the carry. Lots of room. Romanowski takes the tackle. That's number four. Carried this one just left of center. But there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. It's second and nine. A 15. He's in for the touchdown. Willis Price really poured it on to get that touchdown. Look how the play starts out. Right here. He makes a nice catch, and then things get going. Into the end zone for a big touchdown. This guy is a real offensive threat. You can't coach that. Hollis lines up for the point after. There's the kick. He adds the extra point. The Bills tie this one up. Hollis is back to kick it away. This will send them very deep. Kirby fields it in the end zone, and he thinks better of returning it and will down. They would definitely like to score on this drive right here. There's not enough time left for mistakes. First and ten. Field. Dillon comes in and makes 
the tackle. Took the pitch way out left past the tackle. And not a bad pickup. Just some nice yards there. Ball at the 26-yard line. Brown in motion. Jarvis with the ball. And four. High formation. Brown goes in motion. Gannon just gets it off. Incomplete pass. It's Gannon. Must have lost his grip on the ball or something because that one didn't even have enough force behind it. Leckler comes in to punt after a three and out. Nice punt. 31. Well, it's a close game and time is running out. You have to love these situations. This is a big drive here. Ball on the 36. Hey, baby. The longer the run, the greater the glory. Two wide receivers on the field. Bledsoe takes back. Throws. The 40. 30. It's the jackpot on that play. Watch it again. There's the catch. And he just goes and goes and goes. That's the key to a great receiver. He never loses his focus on the pass, but he's also thinking about where he'd like to run with it. You know, like me kind of, Dan. I, you know, I'm talking, but I'm always thinking. Can I say you can't coach that right here? <laughs> he's been fighting hard after every catch, Dan, and that makes his entire offense smell like a rose. Bold, wide right. And we'll see if he can repeat his performance from the last play. Bledsoe drops back. Throws. Nice tackle by the 15-year man out of Boston College. Peter, I'm going to talk about the previous play for a second here. That was a very nice catch. Agreed, Dan. Eric Moulds makes a great target out there for the quarterback. He can blow the roof off the barn with his explosiveness and his speed. Back in 98, he averaged a whopping 20.4 yards per catch on 1,368 yards. That was a club record. We've reached the two-minute warning. It's second and 11. Bledsoe goes back. Throws. Phyllis Price went toe to toe to toe with the double coverage and scored. Super catch. Totally took the defenders out of the equation. It's tough enough to catch in double coverage, but in the end zone, it's even tougher. There's hardly any room to move free. Hollis will line up for the point after. The point. Good. The Bills take the lead with that score, 17 to 10. Hollis sets up and will kick it away. It's away. Kirby fields it deep. A 25. Drag down at 
the 30 yard line. First down, Raiders. Oh, this is a huge drive. They have a chance to tie it up and head into overtime. Hey, it's crunch time, fellas. First and ten. Tight end is lined up left side. Cannon drops back. Throws. The 40. Jerry Porter takes it down, then pours it on. Watch this. Great catch, but he really delivers on the run. Absolutely. You know what they say about receivers. They have a great pair of feet. Well, they're fast. The Raiders, after the big pass last play, will have a first down. Porter lines up wide left after the big game last play. Cannon came back, barely gets it off. Incomplete pass. Rich Cannon got away with a risky one there. I counted three defenders where he threw the ball. One forty-two on the clock. The second missing. Cannon drops back. It's hit! Incomplete! The second incompletion in a row. Gary Porter couldn't make the catch, although he had gotten himself to a good spot on the outside there. Third and ten. The Raiders take their first time out. He sends a telegram to his man for the completion. Take a look. There's the throw right to him. This passing offense spends so much time in practice running plays and patterns that it's, it's almost instinctive at this point. A minute 33 seconds left. They line up with four wideouts. Cannon drops back. Throws. The pass is incomplete. Chris Watson with some great coverage on that one, Dan. Played him just tight enough to make it a difficult catch. Ball at the 20-yard line. Eastern Illinois. Jerry Porter cut across the middle but couldn't make the catch. Third and ten. Take a timeout. That's their second. Nice completion here. Take a look. There's the throw. Right in between the number. He had them lined up just right, and they connected for a decent game. It's first and goal. Incomplete. Rich Gannon thought he could finesse the pass through double coverage, but it didn't pan out. It's second and goal. They line up with three wide out. Gannon back. Oh, didn't. That will bring up third down. Rich 
Gannon is feeling so much pressure there that his ears pop. No wonder he threw an incompletion. It's third and goal. right there the pressure was good but peter that was a nice play on the ball you got that right dan great reaction time to snag the ball out of the air like that peter they needed to score and they needed to go for it great execution by the defense dan they are well on their way to wrapping this one up ball on the 16 He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. The Raiders take a timeout. That's their final one. It's now second and 12. They're going with two tight ends. He'll take a knee, and the clock will wind down. and 14. He'll take a knee and the clock will wind down. Fourth down. 16 yards to go. There's the whistle and that's the end of the game. The Bills come out on top. 17 to 10. That'll wrap it up for us. On behalf of everybody here at ESPN, including Peter O'Keefe, Michelle Westball, and myself, Dan Stevens, thanks for spending time with us. Up next, the ESPN Post Game Wrap Up. Clark Dishman here with the ESPN Post Game Show. Let's get started. The Bills come away with a seven point win over the Raiders. They now move to two and three on the year. The Bills clamp down defensively, to say the least. The stat showed just how much they put the hurt on the running back and just how key that was in the win today. Peerless Price hauled down passes for a total of 68 yards and two touchdowns. He will get our ESPN player of the game. Well, that will do it for now. Make sure you tune into the weekly wrap-up for the entire weekend scores, highlights, and insights. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.